Now it is 12 13. I am doing a very bad job of not procrastinating because I did worked on it for one hour and then I stopped and then procrastinated for a long time. Nice. But anyways, it's now 12. <laughs> I should, uh, I mean, I haven't even finished half of it yet, so I guess, unfortunately, it's going to take more than another hour. So I guess it's going to take two, two more. That's unfortunate. Um, also, uh, I don't know if I'm even going to upload the stream. I, pro I don't know, but in the stream I mentioned that I determined that my um, best possible grade in accounting is actually 91%, which is an A-, minus, which is very disappointing. I was hoping I could get an A, but whatever. Uh, I, determined, I also determined that my best possible GPA um, for this semester is 3.7 something. Um, so, I mean, it's not that much worse than last semester. It's only like 0.1 worse than last semester as long as I get the A minus in accounting and B plus in business communication. Anyways, so I finished writing, um, how many paragraphs did I write so far? I came up with the four positive and two negative things about the first presentation and then I wrote the first two paragraphs so I just need to write one more one last paragraph now unfortunately the second paragraph I wasn't able to provide any timestamps because I was just talking about the presentation as a whole and there's no real timestamp that would support my argument um, so it doesn't really make sense but I'm afraid she's gonna take points off for that but I mean she has to understand that there's no good, there, that's not a good place to put a timestamp. I'm just talking about, like, um, I said that the delivery, I said that they read from a script. That's, they did that throughout the entire presentation. There's no one specific timestamp to refer to, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. And then the second thing I said is they don't use gestures, or they use very few gestures. That's the same thing. I'm just talking about the entire thing. So why am I supposed to reference? Like, the only thing I could reference is maybe the fact, maybe one random part of it where they did use gestures, but that doesn't make sense because I'm saying that they didn't use gestures for most of it. So why would I reference? It, maybe I'll write a comment asking about it because I really don't want to miss points. I really want to get, technically I could get 10 out of 12 and still get a B plus, but I, I just want to be absolutely sure I get the B plus. So I'm going to just write a comment saying that there's no real need to write, to have timestamps for that one and maybe i mean would that even change her mind about the grading i don't know if she was a, like if she, maybe she would take off points because i didn't put time spans so that she didn't really think about it long enough and if, and then she reads the comment and is like oh wait actually there is really no need for timestamps these are just general things about the entire presentation that, <laughs> i don't know I, but anyways, wonderful. So I just, I have that, and then I have to, now fortunately I've kind of been subconsciously thinking about the, well, I've, not subconsciously, but randomly, when I was working on the first presentation where I was working on the review for the first presentation I was thinking about the second presentation and I think I have a few points already for that in my mind like what I want to write about it so maybe that one will go faster <laughs> I don't know um so maybe I could finish it all in an hour but I'm gonna give myself well, I'm gonna not be this I'm not gonna be mad at myself for not if I take two hours instead of one, because it, I'm not even halfway done. 
But anyways. And then what I was, I was originally planning to spend all day studying for the accounting final today, but, and I was supposed to do this extra credit assignment yesterday, but I didn't. So I really need to study for that, that final. I mean, I could wait till tomorrow, but I just really want to make sure I get the best possible grade if, because I, I only have, um, basically I can get, I have to get a 96% or above on the final exam in order to get an A. So I need to give myself plenty of time to study, but I'm afraid that by the time I finish the extra credit assignment, I'm not going to feel like studying for the final, but I should just do study for the final for at least one hour. Like at the very minimum, one hour today, and then tomorrow I can do it for a lot more time. Um, So how can I progress in even more? <laughs> oh no. Um, I still haven't I haven't um, registered for any classes in the summer or fall. And I probably should have messaged my advisor sooner to have an appointment, but on the other hand, I don't know why he didn't message me first, asking me if I wanted to have an appointment to talk about my next semester, so that's not very good that um, we only have a few days. Actually, um, I originally thought it was only four days of break between spring and summer. Well, that's technically correct. For me, actually, it's more like a week. Let's see. If it was four days, was is Friday the last day? So maybe the first day of the summer semester was like a Tuesday, the following Tuesday. So that means I have actually a week, but I was originally planning to. I was going to, my plan for this summer is to not take any classes for the first four weeks. Um... I don't know if I want, do I really want to take a four week class though? I don't know, maybe I prefer six week class or eight week classes. Um, because if I wait for four weeks, then I would be forced, the only other class I could take after this four weeks was over was to take a four week, another four week class. Um, but anyways, I'm hoping that if either either the case is that it's perfectly okay for me to to not take any classes for the first four weeks or maybe there is one class I need to take so I take that for the first or maybe I take that throughout the entire semester but I I start with just one class and then I add some more on later like in, for example if I take one 12 week class Wait, 12 weeks the whole semester of summer? I think the whole summer semester is 12 weeks. Um, or maybe it's 16. I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. Uh, 16 weeks is, I think that's like a full spring, or spring semester. I can't remember. Pfft. No, I think... Um... I remember taking an eight-week class um, for, um, I took a Calculus 2, and it was an eight-week course, um, and it ended in, like, July 20-something, which means you have maybe three more weeks left, four weeks left. So I guess, yeah, the summer semester, the full summer semester is a 12-week thing, and then maybe, maybe the spring's and fall semesters are eight or sixteen weeks. I mean, I could easily just look it up. <laughs> Maybe I'll just look. Um, of course, I am. 
I am doing this flat calendar. I could look it up. Let's waste some time by looking this up. So for spring and fall, they don't have four-week courses. They just have eight-week courses, ten-week courses, five-week courses. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know they have five weeks. And then regular full semester. And of course, they don't say how many weeks it is. <sighs> Are you serious? <laughs> um, don't know why they don't say how many weeks is in between January 25th and May 21st calendar for 2021 oh so they say that yeah obviously that cement they say the semester ends on the 21st which is um a, a Friday yeah so do, 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 so 21st so um one wait no it's 25th and to 21st so it goes one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, if you include this week as the final. 17 weeks, huh? If I'm pretty sure that's how the counting works because I don't know, maybe it's 16. I, I'm just, whatever. Um, so I guess the regular semester is 16 weeks. And then the summer semester is like a regular, the full summer semester is 12 weeks. Not 2020, 2021. So they, um, when does registration end? I don't know. A 12 week regular session begins. First eight week session begins for six week session. First four week session and then four weeks in. So I could take. So the first four week session ends one month, four weeks later, obviously. And the second session begins three days later. So, I mean, maybe I could take a four-week class. <laughs> oh, it turns out that the second eight-week session begins. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. Why does it say that an eight-week session begins only four weeks into the semester? That makes no sense. I guess it's because it, it, they overlap. So they say you can start an eight-week session four weeks in. So that's actually interesting. Um, that's not what I thought uh, expected. Um, the first six-week session ends on July second, and then the next one begins. Um, so the only issues I might have is that maybe my class, all of the classes I'm supposed to take are uh, have to be during a 12 week session or during a full semester, because I actually looked to see if there was any open, open classes for um, in, intermediate accounting. And there was not any for summer. I didn't look actually look to see if there was some that were full that, but According to, based on the classes that are open, I can't actually take intermediate accounting over the summer. 
but I think it should be fine because there's like three or four, um, well, first of all, there's like three or four other accounting courses I can take first. Um, and second of all, obviously I still need some more, uh, business administration classes, like obviously human resources and corporate <laughs> finance. And also, um, I need, I looked at my, um, degree requirements and I need one more I need one gender studies class um that's the one general requirement that apparently I did not meet um so like the requirement was is that you need an ethnic and gender studies and some classes can fulfill both but you need but you need to at least fulfill both of them and apparently my cultural diversity class fulfilled the ethnic requirement but not the gender studies requirement so i need to take gender now interestingly enough um my professor didn't even mention that uh, actually maybe he did mention it but or not my professor well he is my professor but my advisor <sighs> for some reason i don't know if he didn't mention it or maybe he did mention it but then i ended up not taking one this semester I don't know why, but um, I haven't even taken the gender studies class yet, and I'm already two semesters in. Um, you would think I would get that over with sooner, but it doesn't really matter when I take it. Probably I could just take it whenever. I could just take like a four-week version of the class at some random point, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, during fall and spring, they have... 16 week semester, eight week semester, eight week course. Do they have 12? Wait, do they have 12 week courses during the regular semester? Or was it only the regular semester, the eight week one, and the five week one? I'm not going to check that again. So. Um, now that I've rambled on about the, the different lengths of the courses, I will now stop procrastinating, so it is 12.31.